Moscow to pay residents over $21,000 signing bonus for joining army, Russia lacks troops. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sobyanin signed a decree on July the 23rd, establishing a one-time signing bonus of 1.9 million rubles or $21,200 for city residents who joined the military. As Russia has sought to replenish its military, decimated by high losses in Ukraine, authorities have implemented financial perks to incentivize enlistment. While other regional authorities have also instituted signing bonuses such as 1 million rubles or 11,000, $200 in Krasnodar Krai and 500,000 rubles or 5,600 in Dagestan, the Moscow signing bonus appears to be the highest reported so far. With the addition of the signing bonus, a Moscow resident who enlists in the army will make over 5.2 million rubles or $58,600 over the course of their first year in service, Sobyanin's office said. Servicemen can also receive between 500,000 to 1 million rubles or $5,600 to $11,200 for being injured, and the family of a soldier killed in action is reportedly set to be paid 3 million rubles or $34,000. A variety of other perks are also offered to family members, the mayor's office said. Russia's Federal Statistics Service, Rostat, said in June 2023 that the average monthly wage across the country was around 65,000 rubles or $735. In comparison with the additional signing bonus factored, a Moscow resident could earn 433,000 rubles a month or $4,800 in their first year serving in the army. Experts say that Russia lacks the munitions and soldiers needed to launch a new major offensive in Ukraine. Russia's new May offensive in northeastern Kharkiv Oblast has effectively ground to a halt, but Moscow's troops maintain their pressure in Donetsk Oblast, pushing into the town of Chasivya. Ukrainian defenses have improved significantly, albeit also suffering heavy losses. It will take some time before Kyiv accumulates enough resources to launch its own counter-offensive. Russian Brigade manages to lose 200% of its personnel, command is concealing the losses. The commander of one of the motorized rifle platoons of the Russian Armed Forces said that the losses in his brigade are twice as high as its total strength. Ukrainian journalist Yuri Butasov drew attention to this. On the video made public on social networks, the Russian lieutenant admits that the army of Ukraine killed or wounded about 12,000 of his fellow soldiers, but the command is concealing this. The staff strength of the Russian brigade is up to 6,000 people. That is, the losses amount to 200% of the personnel. Given that almost all losses are infantry units and the number of infantry in the brigade is up to 50% of the formation, it is obvious that the infantry has been renewed four times. The Russian army maintains its combat capability only by constantly replenishing its personnel. And judging by the video, the Russian officer had some bad premonitions, Butasov noted. Through open source research, Media Zona, a Russian independent media outlet together with BBC Russia, confirmed the names of 59,700 and 25 Russian soldiers who had been killed since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Since Media Zona's last update in early July, the names of 1,518 Russian soldiers have been added to the list of casualties. The journalists note that the actual figures are likely significantly higher as their verified information comes from public sources such as obituaries, posts by relatives, regional media reports and statements from local authorities. On July the 5th, Russian media outlets Medusa and Mediazana published a report indicating that approximately 120,000 Russian troops have been killed since the start of the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Russian army casualties have risen sharply in recent months amid a failed renewal Russian offensive. According to research by BBC Russia and Media Zona, Russia lost over 10,000 soldiers in Ukraine over the past six months. President Volodymyr Zelensky claimed in an interview with the BBC on July the 18th that around 20,000 Russian troops were killed during Russia's failed offensive in Kharkiv Oblast. Since Russia began its all-out war against Ukraine, over 3,700 officers, with 437 holding the rank of lieutenant colonel or higher, have been killed in combat in Ukraine. The analysts note that at least 11,933 Russian inmates have been killed on Ukraine's eastern front. 